Well, how you doing? This is your devotional for Wednesday, April 14th, and we're continuing through the book of Proverbs. We're in Proverbs chapter 15, and this chapter is loaded, loaded with a very specific theme, all kind of sprinkled throughout it again and again and again. The theme comes up about what we say, how we use our words, wisdom around our words, and foolishness if we're not in control of our words. So just listen as I read a whole series of passages, all from Proverbs chapter 15. And listen with a heart open to say, God, is there a word for me about my words? Do you, have, do you want to say something to me about the things I say and how I say things? So just listen to God's word, and I'll walk you through chapter 15 of Proverbs. It begins in verse 1 by kind of giving a theme. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Your words can move away from anger and wrath, or our words can just suck us right in to conflict and tension. So think about your words. Do I tend to speak words that are creating peace or creating turmoil? Now, I'll be honest, there's times where we have to deal with tough things and we have to confront things and it's difficult. But the point here is needless words that create turmoil. And then verse two, the tongue of the wise adorns knowledge, but the mouth of a fool gushes folly. I love that word, gushes. It's just like, blah, just you know, a foolish person is just, they don't stop and think and, 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 and kind of ponder the implications. They just gush out whatever kind of goes from the mind to the mouth and boom, gushes out. Be careful. Slow down with your words. Because you know what? Once you've said them, you can't pull them back and stuff them in. They're out there. So be careful you're not gushing the things you say and becoming a person who models folly instead of wisdom. In verse 7, we read this. The lips of the wise spread knowledge, but hearts of fools are not upright. If you're a wise person, you're spreading knowledge. God's giving you things that you know, that you understand. Share those things. Share that knowledge, that insight in a way that blesses other people. Verse 8, the Lord detests the sacrifice of the wicked, but the prayer of the upright pleases him. One of the most pleasing things we can do with our mouths, with our words, is to pray to please God by praising Him, singing to Him, blessing Him, speaking, just speaking words to Him of saying, God, I love you, I praise you. So let your words of prayer bless the heart of God. Verse 18, a hot-headed person stirs up conflict, but the one who is patient calms a quarrel. And so there's this calming nature that we can bring if we're patient and thoughtful and walking with the Lord. Verse 23 says this, a person finds joy in giving an apt reply. We don't use the word apt a whole lot anymore, but, but appropriate, a thoughtful, a healthy reply. And how good is a timely word? You know the answer to that. How good is a timely word? When someone comes to you and you're in need of a word of encouragement, and they bring it, you're like, oh, what a timely word. Maybe you need a bit of wisdom and someone speaks wisdom, how timely that is. So think through each day, God, how can I use my words? How can I bless my kids, my friends, my neighbors? A timely word to encourage other people. Verse 26, the Lord detests the thoughts of the wicked, but gracious words are pure in his sight. Words filled with grace. We don't even use the word gracious in our culture a whole lot anymore, but I want to encourage you to ask this question. Are these words that impart grace, that are gracious in their tone, in their content, in their timing, speak words that are gracious. Verse 28, the heart of the righteous weighs its answers. Weighs its, doesn't just speak, but weighs out the answers. But the mouth of the wicked gushes evil. There it is again, gushing. Weigh out what you say, don't gush with your words. And then one more verse, verse 29. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. God hears our prayers. Here's the encouragement this week. Understand that your words can bless, build up, and really strengthen people, or our words can cut when they gush, when they're, when they're not thought through, when they're not measured. Our words can bring incredible damage. Lord, this is our prayer today, that you would guard our mouths, that our words would be gracious and bring blessing, that they would not gush and be foolish. Maybe, Lord, all that we have to learn this week is to slow down before we speak, Think about the implications before we text, before, before we post something on social media. Those are all words that can bless or damage. Help us be people who bring gracious, blessing words to everyone we encounter. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great, a great rest of the week, and we'll see you Sunday in worship 
online, indoors, or outdoors. We'll see you soon.